A vulnerable Canadian woman left wandering in a Florida airport for hours. Tonight, her family is demanding an explanation from those involved. Good evening, I'm Zoraida Allman. The woman who lives with special needs had just landed in Orlando to visit relatives. Her family says arrangements had been made to help her, but that didn't happen, leaving her lost and alone at the airport. The question tonight, how could this happen? CTV's Miranda Anthistle has been working on this story tonight and joins us live in the studio. Miranda. Well, Zoraida, the family is still shaken up by the whole thing. They can't understand why their sister was helped onto the plane in Toronto, but not when she disembarked in Orlando. Now, they say someone could have easily taken advantage of her, and there is no excuse for this happening. I was, like, panicking. I didn't know what to do. It was scary. Distressed and alone, 45-year-old Lisa Lusinski wandered around the Orlando airport for hours before being found by police. I think it was the security people's fault too because I'm also disabled and over challenge so I'm a little slow. Lisa lives with a mental disability. When she got on an Air Canada flight in Toronto on Tuesday, she and her family had alerted the airline that Lisa needed help boarding and deplaning. So they made her fill out a form saying that she was challenged and needed help and so we thought that was going to be transferred down here, but apparently it didn't make it. And her family didn't know if Lisa had made it. I was pretty much flat out in a panic attack. Lisa's sister couldn't help but think about the worst case scenario. What if somebody started talking to her, offered her a ride, or, you know, she's not even in the airport now. After getting misinformation from airline officials, police got involved, eventually finding a visibly shaken Lisa and reuniting her with her family. Even the police officer looked a little emotional and he said just to make sure that you do follow up with this because he said that um, this happens a lot with Air Canada. He specifically said that. A representative from the airline has been in contact with the family saying, I will work to find out the best way to make future reservations for Lisa and follow up with you. I want to always be sure we provide the best service for her. Again, I am deeply sorry for us not being able to provide the service you expected and will work to gain your confidence to make sure this doesn't happen again to Lisa or another passenger. As mentioned, Orlando police told the family this has happened a number of times. Now, according to Jeff and Natalie, it sounds like the ball is being dropped by the agent Air Canada is working with on the ground in Orlando. Now, we also reached out to the airline tonight and they told us they're taking this matter very seriously and will be fully investigating it. Reporting live in studio, I'm Miranda Anthesel. Sarada.